Hey parents, constipation is a real issue for about 30%. So one out of three kids will struggle with chronic constipation and it tends to be worse in the preschool, in the toddler, in those kind of little kid ages. But I'll tell you this, constipation, like so much stuff we talk about from colic to ear infections to sensory challenges and behavior challenges in these little one, two, three-year-olds is not something kids tend to grow out of. Instead, they tend to grow into other digestive issues later on in life. So the truth is with constipation, I bet so many of you have already tried so many things. This video is for you if you've already tried prebiotics, probiotics, prune juice, prunes, you know, pureed prunes, all the peas, all the things, and you've tried everything you can to attack the constipation and get it better naturally with nutrition and dietary changes and supplements. Maybe you've even tried some herbs and other stuff you found online and Facebook groups and so forth. And maybe you've even gone to the pediatrician because the constipation for your child has gotten bad enough and you've tried over-the-counter medications or the nasty, gnarly prescription medication that is Miralax, which is really just a bully that comes in and forces the body to go poop, but comes with a litany of side effects because of just how the body reacts with it. So we see kids all the time who, after they're put on Miralax, not only does the constipation still, you know, still often kind of linger and, and, and cause troubles, but they'll have behavior issues and meltdowns and everything else. So this video is for you if you've literally tried everything to take care of your kiddo's constipation and you're still looking for that natural drug-free option. I'll tell you this too, I bet you probably know quite a few other parents and kids who have struggled or are struggling with constipation. So if you go through this video, the next couple of minutes and it really makes sense because we're going to give you the number one missing link found in 80 sometimes more than 80 percent of kids we see in our clinic with constipation so please share this video with another mom another family inside of a facebook group anywhere you can that this video and this information can help another kiddo we'd love for you to share it so here's the deal that's absolutely what we see in our clinic. I'm Dr. Tony Ebel, and I'm a neurologically focused pediatric chiropractor. Now, what that means is we do two things. Number one, we get to the root cause of every condition. We don't just treat the symptoms and throw medications and those things at it like an average pediatrician would. And the second thing is, is we really, really work closely with the nervous system. And that's where you're gonna find in this video, and we're actually even gonna go through a case study at the end of this, you're gonna find that while constipation being a gut issue, your natural inclination would think, oh, this is nutritional. This is a challenge with dairy or gluten or something that's either in the kiddo's diet or if your tiny little one who's still breastfeeding is having constipation and colic issues, maybe you're changing your diet. Now, I gotta tell you right out of the gates, if you've tried all these nutritional changes, dietary changes, supplements, you're awesome. You're barking up the right tree. You are moving in the right direction to make digestion easier. The cleaner, healthier foods that go into our kiddo's system, the easier it is to digest. The more supplements and probiotics, magnesium, these things that help the body kind of relax and digest a little easier, awesome. You're going in the right direction. But in our clinic, we have taken care of hundreds of kiddos with chronic constipation. And 80% or more of the time, parents have already done all that. They've done the probiotics, they've done the prunes, and many of them have even done Miralax, and yet they're still presenting to our clinic with their child having constipation. It's that answer. It's that neurology and science I want to explain to you with this video. I'm going to take you through a couple talking points. I'll show you a real-life case study of a kiddo who was struggling with constipation and got better through these neurologically focused chiropractic adjustments, and it'll all make sense by the time we get done. Give me a few more minutes, and we've got this. So first off, Constipation, like almost all challenges in kids, is rarely caused by one thing. In fact, generally what happens is there's a multitude of stressors that go into the child's nervous system and body early on in life. Maybe there was stress during pregnancy, maybe there was intervention during the delivery, C-section, forceps, vacuum, those sort of induction, those sort of things that'll stress the child's nervous system and stress their body out. And there's just a lot of toxins and a lot of crummy stuff out in our environment. So this assortment of stress can come at the body early on through that first one, two, three years of life causing the nervous system, specifically the neurodigestive system, to get jammed up, slow down, and become constipated. So know this, if you've struggled to find exactly what's causing your kid's constipation, don't feel bad at all, because it's a multitude of things. The second thing that we see is, even though the vast majority of patients go at this nutritionally, the vast majority of the real root causes, or at least the remaining root causes for kids who've done the supplements, done the dietary changes, 
is stress on the nervous system. Now that stress on the nervous system in our work has a catch-all word for it called subluxation. Now subluxation is a term you've probably never heard before. It's a term you never really need to even say out loud. All you need to know about subluxation is it means stress stuck on. Now breaking that down a little bit further, the stress side of the nervous system is what we call our sympathetic fight or flight or protective side of the nervous system. We nickname it the gas pedal. And so what we see with a lot of our constipation kiddos is they're also a lot of times kind of going down that road of ADHD, anxiety, sensory, or if we look the other direction, the vast majority of our patients later on in life who have ADHD, sensory, spectrum, anxiety sort of challenges, they also still have constipation or battled it big time when they were little. All of that is a, side, a sign of this sympathetic fight or flight nervous system stuck on. Now the nervous system controls the digestive system, controls the immune system, and controls all other systems. And when the nervous system is stressed out, one of the first things it does is it steals energy, if you will, from the gut. Now digesting our food, absorbing our foods, eliminating the toxins, running this whole internal nervous system called the enteric or neurodigestive system takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of energy from your little dude or dudette's growing body. And they're growing and they got a lot of other life happening. So as soon as they get stressed out, the first place that tends to get the short end of the stick is the digestive system and specifically the motility. So putting this all together, when the nervous system gets stressed out early on, we call that subluxation. It shifts the entire nervous system into the sympathetic fight or flight response and things get stuck. Literally, things get stuck because the first thing that happens in most kids who are stuck in sympathetic dominance is their digestive motility goes down. So a catch-all term to put this all together is what we call neurogenic constipation. Now, four out of five cases, again, we see in our clinic, and this has been this way for 15 years, and in all the clinics we teach and take care of through our PX Docs network, four out of five cases are neurogenic. And we can know that they are because one, we can look back at their case history and we can find, hey, that nervous system for that kiddo went through a lot of stress, pregnancy, delivery, interventions, the thing we talked about before. Two, these families tried everything else. They've done all the right moves with nutrition and diet and supplementation. So if it was nutritional instead of neurological, the kiddo would be better. The constipation would already be in a better place and be gone. And the third thing is, and I'll show you this next, is we can actually measure. We can find this stress on the nervous system, find these subluxations and see if they are there. So that's the very last thing I wanna show you and teach you in this video. We'll take a two minute cruise through one of our amazing uh, case studies at testimonials for constipation, which is this little baby. So this one hit this kiddo early. So Juniper was just five, six months old and literally was going days without pooping. And just like we've talked about in this video, this rock star mom with Ju for Juniper had tried everything, the probiotics, the prunes, the have, you know, change in diet, all the things. But what you're looking at is Juniper's first neuro thermal scan. Now that's some nerdy, awesome technology we use in our offices that measures the stress on the nervous system. And what it allows us to do is number one, let me see if I can write on here. Number one, it allows us to quantify the stress. Oops, run out of room there. And two, it allows us to locate the stress. Apologize for my bad handwriting. I hope the words make more sense along with this. And so what we see is that Juniper had two significant subluxations. One at the very top of her neurospinal system, we call that the brainstem or upper cervical area, C1, C2, atlas and axis, and another one right smack in the center at T5, T6. Now, the number one thing that comes from up top and when this area is subluxated and stressed out like you're seeing, the number one nerve that gets negatively affected is a nerve called the vagus nerve. Now the vagus nerve is nicknamed the rest and digest nerve. The vagus nerve goes down through the cervical spine all the way into the esophagus, into the stomach, all the way down into the small intestine and the diaphragm, and it slows our heart rate and it improves our breathing, but it also activates and stimulates digestive motility, absorption, and elimination within the top two thirds of the digestive system. So Juniper's constipation really started to get jammed up up top because that's where the subluxation set up shot. And then her second one was right here, and that is that mid 
neurogastric, just flat out stomach area. And so now she was having difficulty getting that food digested and into the top one third and two thirds of her neurogastric system. So no wonder it wasn't getting out easily because if you can't get it in, step one, and you can't chop it up, step two, you can't kick it out, step three. And that's how digestive motility works. And even though Juniper did not have this subluxation, we also often see significant subluxations in kids with constipation down around the sacrum, which is what that little S or S1 shows, because there's another plexus of what's called parasympathetic, so like the vagus nerve, rest and digest nerves at the bottom. And many kids we see in our clinic will not only have the same upper to middle subluxations like Juniper has, but they'll have the lower as well. And so what chiropractic does not seek to do is treat or cure constipation. We don't treat, we don't cure anything. We take care of the nervous system. We get that stress, get that subluxation out of the way of the nervous system with easy, gentle, what we call neurotonal adjustments. That means every adjustment is designed to get the nervous system to relax and release that pent up sympathetic stress and improve the tone on the neuromuscular system and the nervous system as a whole. Because what constipation is, is too much tension or abnormal tone and abnormal coordination and communication between the nervous system and the muscles that make up the digestive system. So that's neurogenic constipation. And that's actually the vast majority of constipation cases out there. Yes, we live in a world where our nutrition is really, really out of whack for a lot of families and our toxins are too much for a lot of families. But I'll tell you this, the good news is so many families are moving awesomely in the direction of getting good foods and supplements into their kiddos and limiting or stopping toxins altogether. Now that's awesome, that is to be applauded. If that's you, you're kicking butt. You are an empowered, healthy, rock star parent. The final missing link just may be that subluxation. It just may be stress on your nervous system that just happens during pregnancy, during delivery, and during those early stages. And there's no supplement, there's no diet change that can get rid of that subluxation. But there is trained and ready, neurologically focused pediatric chiropractors who are part of our PX Docs network or at our clinic if you're local to us. And the thing you wanna do is number one, learn more. So there's an article, we'll link to this video at all times and really share more about how to go through constipation and take care of it naturally and all the different options and, and, and the nervous systems part in it. And step two, ask any questions. Comment below, share your experiences, send us a DM if you need more information and you don't wanna put it in the comments. Share this with other moms, share this on your page, share this in Facebook groups um, and, and really just reach out to other families in that way. And then number three, if you're ready to find out if pediatric chiropractic and this subluxation and neurogenic challenges with digestive motility is the answers you're looking for with your kiddo, well then reach out to us, go to our directory, find your local PX docs, get your kiddo scanned, get them under a care plan because once we have that scan like we did for Juniper, we can make customized, personalized, neurologically focused adjustments just like we explained that are perfectly put together for your kiddo to get the nervous system to unwind, release that stress, and get everything better going forward. Because once the nervous system is better, the gut's better, the immune system is better, sleep is better, motor tone is better, you're gonna love it. So learn more, read the article, send us a comment, send us a question, reach out to us, go to the directory, we got you. As always, thank you for watching these videos, thank you for sharing these videos. I really hope this helped so many families find answers after they've exhausted the probiotics, the prune juice, and the dietary changes. Um, and hopefully we caught many of you before Miralax, but if you've already tried Miralax, we have an incredible article that talks all about that as well and how to move in this direction to help your child um, be able to move away um, from heavy medications and all the side effects that come with it. We are always here for you for hope, answers, and help. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.